being the brilliant surgeon that I am, I have actually developed a new technique for performing splenectomies. I know, it's amazing, I'm incredible. It seems to be a great way to do it, except, except I have critics who say that my method is causing a greater mortality rate, or a greater percentage of people are dying on the table because of my technique than those who have the traditional splenectomy. So we want to find out if this is true. So a study has been proposed using my technique, and then we're going to and we're going to compare it to what is the known mortality rate for the traditional technique. Now the known mortality rate is up here. You'll see, ooh, the average mortality rate for splenectomies nationwide is 0.026. So 0 0.026 is the is the mortality rate, which means the pro the proportion of people who die on the table during the traditional splenectomy surgery. We're going to find out, or we're going to try and design a study to find out if there's a greater mortality rate in mine. We know some things about our study, okay? So how large a sample would be needed to determine with a significance of 0 0.05, so we want to work at 95% confidence or a significance of 0 0.05, if the mortality rate of my surgery were greater than 0 0.026, we want to have a 90% chance, so this is called our power, to notice a difference between 0 0.030 and 0 0.026. Let me explain power again a little bit. Remember, power is your probability of detecting or of avoiding a type 2 error. If there really is a difference between the two, what is your chance of detecting it? Well, it depends on how far apart the difference is. So you have to say what difference you're talking about. And here I'm talking about a difference between 0 0.030 and 0 0.026 and I want to have a 90% chance of detecting a difference assuming it's that large or larger. Okay? So Let's go to how we do this, which is again in our stat menu. But this time, we're doing what's called a power analysis. My power is 90%, or 0.9. So when I do this, if you look at the list, you could probably see where we're going to go. We're going to go to power and sample size. We're actually doing a power analysis. Now, I have to know what kind of hypothesis test this would be, so I know which kind of power analysis to do. This would be a one proportion test. I'm going to have one sample, and I'm testing the proportion of people who die on the table, mortality rate. So I'm going to go to one proportion, and now I need to fill in two of these, and it's going to tell me the other one. Well, I don't know sample size. That's what I'm actually trying to find out. How many people would I need to have in this study so that I could do detect this difference with a 90% chance. So I'm going to leave sample size blank. That's what I want to know. Comparison proportion. So the comparison proportion is the proportion that we're trying to look for that could be new, the 0 0.030. 0 0.030. The power value, I wanted to have a power of 90%, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. And the hypothesized proportion is what the old one was, what the control was, what the traditional one was, 0 0.026, 0 0.026. Now we're going to click on options before we go on, and we're going to just check these things. The alternative hypothesis in this case is actually a greater than, so I need to switch that. The significance is fine, so I'm going to say OK and say OK. And Minitab performs a power analysis for us. And you're going to see that if I actually wanted to be able to detect a difference of that small between 0 0.030 and 0 0.026, I would need, and have 90% chance of doing it, I would need 14,423 people to undergo the surgery based on my new technique before we could make a determination that fine. That's probably unrealistic. You're not going to let 14,000 people have a new surgery that might be causing more deaths. You're going to probably going to ha either have to accept a lower power value or a larger difference between the two so that you can bring that number down before you can start to make a determination.